Nearly five years of planning now, the Columbia Community Development Committee says they're one step closer to putting its plan for food security into action. Well, News 19's Zoe Henry has a closer look at the committee's possible solution and how some new wheels will bring food right into your community. Imagine having to choose between gas and groceries. I have to go to shop three times a week. <laughs> the grocery's so high now, so we gotta pick and choose. We can only buy like enough for two meals every three days or four days. We have to take that as car. Because you have to travel nearly 10 miles to get to the nearest grocery store. And it takes me approximately 15 to 20 minutes to get from my home to the nearest grocery store. Unfortunately for many people in the Midlands, this is a reality. We have to go so far to get groceries and stuff like that. It'll be you know, real convenience for us to just come down the street. According to City Councilwoman Tina Herbert, this issue could have a solution soon. Um, well, that we're about to actually, I call it put it, put the RFP out on the street and the, it's a request for proposals um, and we're giving people the opportunity to um, be able to, to submit their own ideas. The City of Columbia is looking to turn this into one of these. Uh, we really want a mobile market, but we're open to other creative solutions. Um, but this process, like you said, has taken a while. It's, it's been a vision for several years, um, and we're just really excited that we had the ARPA funding to actually fund it. The idea originally came from Charleston, where during the pandemic, the city sent out school buses that were converted into mobile food markets. While Columbia will likely only have one bus, it will travel from zip code to zip code each week to provide fresh produce for community members. The project will serve the zip codes considered food deserts in Columbia. In Columbia, Zoe Henry, News 19, WLTX. City Council is looking to accept community input as soon as the next community development meeting, and that is on February 7th.